If you want to find a percentage of a quantity, then the type of question that we're looking at is something like t find 26% of um, 800, for example. So there are different ways of doing this, and it really depends upon how confident you are with particular processes. And you'll see what I mean as I go through. I'm going to go through both methods. Um, what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to go through the method and then I'm going to show you how to do it on a calculator. So I'm going to do two hand methods and the calculator method. So the first method, okay, splits the, breaks the problem down into finding 10% and 5% and 1%. So first of all, find 10% is by, fi uh, by dividing 800 by 10. So 800 by 10 is 80. Now we want 26%, so we're going to need another 10%. That would be another 80. But we'd also like to find this 6%. So 5% is, would be half of the 10%, so that's 40. And I need another 1%. Well, to find 1%, I divide by 100, because that's what percent meant. So 800 divided by 100 is just 8. So if I add up this left-hand side, I've got 26%. So if I add up the right-hand side, I get 8, 4, 12, 20, so 208. So 208 is the answer. It's 26% of 800. So that's one particular way that you can do it. Um, obviously, when you're getting into questions like eight, find 87%, then the list of percentages that you need to find increases. And it can become a little bit convoluted, but it's really up to you whether you use it or not. Because it does actually make sense. Another method is to find 1% first by dividing 800 by 100, which is just 8, and then multiplying that value by how much percent you need. So I found 1%, so 26% would be 26 times 8. So we use our long multiplication or grid method or lattice method. 6 eighths of 48, 2 eighths of 16. So we get the 8, 10, and the 1 is 2. So 208. So 26% is 26 times 8, which is 208. So that way is quite nice. If you're very happy with long multiplication and you want to do it that way, then perfectly viable. If you're not so happy with long multiplication, then this method is probably going to be your preferred route. So these are the two uh, by hand methods. The third method is to be used on a calculator. Um, and what it involves is turning the percentage into a decimal. So 26% as a decimal is 0 0.26. And the way to get that is by dividing by 100. If you look back at um, the uh, video where I looked at fractions, decimals and percentages, to get from the decimal to the percentage you multiply by 100, so to go from the percentage to the decimal you divide by 100. So this is 0 0.26. The of in maths means times, so 0 0.26 times 800. And that's what you do on your calculator. So if you try it, you should get 208. So this would be your calculator method. You could do this by hand, but once again, it, the difficulty increases. And your two hand methods are these.
okay? And it's really your choice as to which one you prefer to use.